So what seems to be the problem, Christian? Well, it looks like we got uh, we got to replace an aerator on this and uh, on the sink here. Um, the fixture is not running as well as it could be. So wow, you actually know what an aerator is? That's amazing. Yeah. So the aerator is the screen that sits here and mm -hmm. um, allows your water to flow. Okay. Right. And if they get clogged up. The water doesn't flow as well. Mm -hmm. um, it can be done every month, every year. It just depends on what the uh, water is like coming into the house. Right. So it's easy to take off, and uh, you just use the pliers. Mm-hmm. Okay. But before you use the pliers on there, you don't want to scratch up the nice surface on there. Yeah. So we got just a uh, channel locks pliers here. Every house Red should have a pair. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and I like to take a rag and wrap it around the end when I go to loosen that up. Okay, all right. All right, let's uh, take it in for a better view. And you gotta go clockwise. Yep. Okay. And you might feel that it's loose already. It shouldn't be on there too tight. All right. So you can then uh, loosen that by hand. Okay, and we'll get the rest on the hand. Oh, and that just comes right out? Oh, look at all that. Show the folks at home. You got a little bit of sediment down in there. Yeah. And that, there's a Black red jam. plastic screen. Right. And it'll collect everything and spit out water for you. Okay. So then just take and rinse that out, and you can rinse it right out in there. And it might actually help because then you'll uh, rinse oh, out any additional sediment that may be in yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. And I like to take and tap it in my hand a little bit to see if I can get even more out or even blow on it, whatever it takes to get that little bit of sediment out. Yeah, we got a little bit of gunk out of there. Cool. You can use that rag and even wipe at the end of it, you know, okay. see if you can get any more out. And the goal is to remove the majority of the sediment. So you can leave that little bit on there. Okay. If it ever gets built up too bad, you can always replace that. All right. So just push that out and yep. that. Just push in the middle here and it comes right out. And that Perfect. is a little plastic aerator, and those are relatively affordable, and that's what you would replace if you ever needed to. In this case, ours looks good and new. Yep. You can see a lot of red on the other end. There's not a lot of sediment in there. Yep. Put it back in. Cool. Good to go. Start it back the way it was. Perfect. And so reinstall. Right. Cool. When you reinstall it, You just screw it back on. And really you just want to make sure it's snug. You don't want to wrench it back on there real hard. It's kind of nice to be able to get it back off. So I just give it a little tighten. On there good. Water flowing good. 